No matter which part of the Mississippi River you may be fishing, wing dams are very common, like we're fishing today. The first thing I like to do when I come up to a new wing dam is, you know, we generally have an idea what we have on our GPS, on our Navionics chip, on where that wing dam may be. And what I like to do is, you know, idle up or downstream, right off, you know, the, the center of the main channel here. And I want to look for that very end of it. It's a great starting location, and it's also a great spot for those fish to hide in the, in the, in the fastest current, you know, where these fish want to be set up at. So what we have here coming up on side imaging, as we can see, we have a, a difference in the bottom here. It's relatively smooth. We have a lot of rock here. Now, I almost drove just right over the edge of it here. So all I simply do with these touchscreen units is tap there. I like to utilize the rock waypoint to utilize where the exact tip of that wing dam is and put a waypoint down there. That gives me a great starting location when I turn around to say put the bow mount in the, in the water. I know exactly where to start, either on the inside or outside and work my way in. Another thing I like to utilize it for is uh, finding differences. You know, a lot of wing dams can be very small, but there might be one piece of brush or a tree down there, or a lot of times there's blowouts in these wing dams where the rocks end and there's just a sand trench through that wing dam. Those are those key areas you really want to key in on because there can be a lot of fish holding on a very small spot.